<laughs> what well, go on by you? What well, go on and take this opportunity, a quick opportunity to meet with y'all, say a few things, uh, share with you guys. First, in the name of the Most High, in the name of everything that's good, the Supreme Architect, the Father, I appreciate for you the opportunity to get together and to, you know, talk to people and uh, communicate and contribute to this human experience. Uh, if you've never been here before, you need to come in, uh, subscribe. You know, it doesn't matter whether you, what denomination uh, you are of religion or thought or spirituality, whether you're Christian, Muslim, atheist, Buddhist, uh, New Age, Scientologist, you know, un or undecided. You know, we get together, we make it funky, uh, and uh, we stay in communication. And um, for those that know, you know, we just we have lost a son very recently, less than a month ago. Uh, and we're living in the wings of that. Um, you know, we also have a mom who struggles with her health. And uh, I didn't want to make this about me. I wanted to make this for all the people out there who are doing some sort of grieving. And I just wanted to tell you that grieving is okay. You know, there's always a time that there's grieving going on, uh, especially for those families. And my, and my heart scroll out to those families who have a loved one that are now in the hospital. You know, you see them as you walk the halls, as you pull up in your car as you leave in the uh, parking decks of hospitals all around the country uh, and I'm sure all around the world. And especially now in the midst of a pandemic, you know, we're dealing with more loss, more transition than ever. You know, the last I looked at the number for just the U.S. alone, it was over 600,000 people who had passed. Uh, I look at people's photos uh, all the time who lost their lives to this pandemic, to this preventable pandemic, uh, and those who are just in the court, the cycle of life, as uh, a doctor put it to me as I met with him last couple of days about my mom. And, you know, today was particularly tough. You know, my son called me up and he had to, you know, he was upstairs. He said, Dad, come upstairs. I got, I got uh, he didn't say Dad. He was like, I got, I got a, an email from my college. He's going off to college next month. And that, that it's finally time to pick my room. And we have been waiting. And I, I ran upstairs, you know, enthusiastic about it. And you know, this is my baby out of that, those set of kids. And he ain't no baby no more. He's taller than me, working a job. And so proud of him. And, you know, going to his room. And first walking into his room, he kind of, I walk in with caution because it's the same room he shared with my 22-year-old, L. Elijah Greer. I love you so much, man. Such a sweet guy, bro. You know, the most beautiful child from the time he came into this world until he decided that it was time for him to leave. And, um, you know, just walking into that room is difficult, you know? And uh, I see Nigel all this weekend, but not in that room. We were gonna play some street fighting, but we didn't do it this weekend. And, uh I sat down to help Nigel pick his his uh, his room that he was going to choose, like a coven of passage. And I looked down at, at the computer, nice computer, was a computer that L had bought. And he was able and empowered to do this because his aunt went out on a limb and created a, a uh, GoFundMe, you know, to help him with his finances and things and just to help him as he was sick and it gave him, and I never really had a chance to tell her this, but it really gave him some, for all the people who contributed to his GoFundMe, it really gave him some joy to be able to, he took those funds, he started buying gifts for his siblings, he bought each of them something, and um, he bought himself a computer, and I'd go in the room and I'd see him on the computer, and uh, it was a gaming computer. I like gaming, nice PC. And now seeing Nigel pick his classes from that same PC, you know, it was just tough. And uh, But 
wanted to show my happiness as I am naturally for him, not show him his hurt, my hurt, and uh, as he chose his classes and exhaled, excited knowing that he would be going to college next month and, and having that part of it out of the way. And I'm so thankful, so blessed. You know, I looked over the outside of the room and a lot of stuff, you you know, even a month after, untouched from the way he left it. We cleaned up the mess, but left his stuff, you know, untouched large by, by large. And, uh, you know, other than a few things that his siblings looked through, I looked at the uh, box for his pump that we have to send back for uh, which pump flow land into his body to deal with his primary pulmonary hypertension. Definitely want to get involved in PPH research and advocacy. Uh, you know, I just, just got to give me a little time. It's very soon and um, definitely planning something that I want to do in particular to honor L and looking for more reasons too. But I want to, you know, I just want to reach out to parents. As I went to, I remember telling his, the the nurse at his doctor, they would been seeing the same particular doctor, Dr. Muhammad Ali, ever since they were little. We used to go with their mom and when their mom passed, they took it hard because they knew her very well. And they would always ask about the kids. And I had to tell her when I went that L had transitioned and he just got to see it hit her and hit her. You can just tell. She had to see stop. She said, I'm so sorry. And then the same lady, we went back a couple, two weeks later. And uh, just to find out she wasn't in, the doctor said, did you hear? Her son had passed. Elle was only 22. Her son was 20. So we, we're all just, man, trying to navigate this thing called life. You don't know who's going to be here and how long. Just hurts my heart so much. He's such a, a, a great guy, you know. Much better guy than I ever was, you know. Blameless or shameless, you know. No scandal, no issues, no problems. You know, he was just a really good guy. And it just hurts my heart. And uh, and I just want to tell you today, if you agree with for someone, if you have friends, family, or you just know anyone grieving for someone, it's, it is okay. And I know the world wants you to go back, you know, to the way it was or, or to go back to normal and even scripture says there's a time for grief and there's a time for other things so there's a you know it shouldn't be forever in the same way you'll always grieve for that person but you gotta keep going on feels so good to talk to my sister when I do cause man she, she treated that boy like she treated him like that that was her her son, she's so good. Some people, you just you just get a chance that it just you just get really good people in your lives. And a lot, all his family came together to help to put him to rest. So many good people are involved. Haven't got a chance to reach back to all of them. Just been trying to keep my head up and trying to do the things I'm supposed to do. But uh, definitely thankful and appreciative. You know, for this opportunity, for this voice, for this platform to say it's okay to grieve. You're going to grieve when people leave. You know, when you leave, people will grieve. And, uh, you know, you got to love people. People, are, you know, once somebody, you love somebody, they're always with you. You know, the body's not going to last forever. The earth doesn't last forever for all of us. We have to make room for the next generation. We get a certain amount of time to do it. Everybody's time is different. And then we got to move over and let somebody else do it. But when you leave, you leave people to grieve. And it's okay. Take it from a father who's lost his son. It's okay to grieve. Take it from a son who's lost his dad. It's okay to grieve. Take it from a brother who's lost his brother. It's okay to grieve. Hey, that's my wife texting me. Is this such a blessing? I'm doing a show and you saw me just say, hey, my wife texted me. <laughs> Come upstairs so you can uh, we can touch base before we go get the baby. You see what I'm saying? You know, life is, it goes on. But I love Elle with every bit of my heart and uh, my soul. 
and I miss him and I wish that even now if I could jump into the depths of of loss I'd pull him out and uh, I'll, I'll watch his picture every time I go up the stairs I used to see people do that and I really get it you know oh, but I get it now and uh, I miss that that guy and I wish I could have did better for him I wish it, things would have been different and uh, you know plagues me thinking about it sometimes uh, trying to honor him I love him El I love you if you're listening I love you it's okay to grieve it's okay to grieve uh, come back talk with us we can have real conversations real life conversations love you guys in search with God in search of God with El Butter love you